Hey, good morning out there, YouTubers. Uh, this is Brad, Great Western Gardens. Hope everybody had a very, very Merry Christmas and that you are looking forward to a new year. 2015 is just about done, uh, and I hope that you all can start counting your blessings as 2016 uh, hits us here in just a couple of days. Uh, now that the holidays are about over uh, and that we have a, an un, almost a disquietingly still day today not a breath of wind uh, you can see we got just a little bit of kind of a frosting of snow last night been cold enough that it hasn't melted away uh, but it does make things just kind of pretty out here uh, i thought it was about time to do a wagon update i uh, finally got the wheels done uh, got them all painted up and installed now you can see a little bit more like uh, what it's supposed to look like it's starting to look like there there may be a wagon in there somewhere uh, basically my piece of junk is now a piece of junk with wheels now if you know that old uh, adage about how any project you take on no matter what you expect it's going to be twice as expensive and can take you twice as long well in the case of these wheels that was true times 10. Uh, i have never put so much paint on anything and i've done a lot of painting uh, painted some very, very old buildings and some old wood and um, some historical restorations, that sort of thing. Uh, never anything this, this detailed. I'm certainly glad I didn't have to build the darn things. Painting them was bad enough. But they do look good. I'm pretty proud of the way they turned out. I uh, got them all on the axles. And now you can, uh, can kind of see where I can go from here. It's about time to start working on the running gear. And uh, you know, a little closer up, some of this wood is, is pretty rotten. I'm going to have to replace a little bit. Uh, I'm going to need a, another piece there for the, the other end. I could probably have that forged. Got an iron works here in town. Uh, but I think that's about the only piece of metal that I'm missing. Uh, I did learn a little bit about this wagon here on the uh, metal plate. You can see there it says uh, pecking. Pekin, I'm not sure. That is Pekin uh, Wagon Works. They were out of Illinois. I started building wagons in 1834. I don't know much about the, the current state of that company or whatever happened with it, although I have been doing some looking just for my own curiosity. I'll probably continue to do so as this project continues. So I have a lot of a woodworking on my hands, cutting each piece to fit and putting it back together. Uh, the first bit here is this main beam. Uh, I do have that cut. It is all ready to go. I'll need to get it painted first before I, I uh, start drilling the holes and everything. Uh, but as you can see here, this splice, uh, I had thought originally that that was just a, a break and that it had been repaired, I, I have discovered differently that it was intentionally cut right here at some point in this wagon's history. Uh, it was intentionally cut and extended. Uh, the average for, uh, for the length of one of these pieces is about eight and a half feet. Uh, this one came at uh, right at nine feet, although it had been extended to about twelve and a half. Uh, now that is a little long for what I need, uh, and I, I'm assuming that because uh, I understand that this has been used as a hay wagon, which is relatively light load, uh, and that a 12 and a half foot length could, could support the weight of that, uh, but there's no reason for me to have it that long, so I'm going to drop it back down, and it'll make it a little bit sturdier in the long run too. Uh, but that's about it. Um, I will continue to update uh, as my progress continues. Uh, hopefully we'll get some, some nicer weather out here. I got it nice and warm in the shop there, but, but out here it's, it's a little bit chilly. So that'll wrap this video up, wagon update number one. Thank you for all the support I've gotten on this channel so far. Uh, building up subscribers. I think I'm into the, the double digits right now. I hope that you continue to see stuff that you, you enjoy. 
uh, learn some. I know that I enjoy and learn from watching all your channels as well. Uh, keep it up and have a wonderful and blessed 2016. Uh, with that, have a good day.